I think that everybody in the city is familiar with Berkeley Days, but probably you don't know how it began. And it's had different names, like at one time it was called Berkeley's Civic Holiday and Homecoming. Uh, and so it's been held at different times, different places. Uh, but now it's uh, a fixture on the weekend after Mother's Day. Uh, and for many years there was a parade uh, that there were uh, there were lots of participants and there were prizes for the best floats and the best bands uh, but uh, roughly a decade ago that was suspended for a number of reasons so the uh, event is kicked off by a 10k race which is actually the second oldest in Michigan uh, for many years there was uh, a contest for to crown Miss Berkeley in 1971, when they had Berkeley Days, I uh, signed up to be in the pageant. There was about 20 of us girls. We had a, a mother-daughter tea the week before, and I was Miss Berkeley in 1971. It was such an honor to be chosen, and I, have, uh, I received a trophy. I still have my trophy. Uh, here we are at the corner of Coolidge and 12 Mile and it's very, a lot of traffic, the bustling, and we all take for granted that Coolidge goes all the way uh, out to Troy. But there was a time, then back in 1926, where Coolidge ended right there at 12 Mile. At the time, Coolidge was called Monier, and 12 Mile was called Oakwood. And the Roseland Park Cemetery over there used to extend out here. So that's why Coolidge ended there. Uh, but in 1926, the cemetery sold off some of the land, and uh, part of it became what is now St. John's Woods, and Coolidge extended north. To celebrate the occasion, the city had a big parade, and they called it Berkeley Days, and that's how the tradition of Berkeley Days got started. Hi, Patty and Dan McCarty here with the McCarty team, Coldwell Banker, Wear Manual. We hope you enjoyed our mini-series, and if you have not been to the Berkeley Museum, you have to get there today. It's a magical and wonderful place to visit.